Do brace plate recovery rigs calcify connected to tap water? Uh, they sh yes, they can. They absolutely can. Now, the what helps us here is there, there's there's two things. One, we're only running water through it for a a short period of time. And now I live in an area where I've got some pretty hard water, uh, and and like. Here in my house, we live off of a, of, of a well, but we're not connected to uh, city or grid water, so we're, we're out here. We'll, we have a very high calcium uh, count or parts per million, whatever the case may be, uh, in, our, in our well water. And even then, it takes quite a bit of time of just slow growth buildup of that calcification before it even becomes noticeable, noticeable much less a problem. It's not a fast thing. So with using a brace plate for recovery as a subcooler, I'm assuming that's the direction you're going with that, then you're not moving that much water through it all the time. Now, one of the recommendations I've seen, and I see, uh, so Jason Johnson, if anybody knows him, uh, he has one of his own. He built his own brace plate subcooler. And one of his practices I've heard him talk about, and I didn't really do this for myself, I, did, I just didn't take the time to bother, but he likes to blow it out with some nitrogen when he's done and get all that water out of there, which most of the time it should help with a lot of that, uh, move a lot of that water and the deposits out. Because like the issue with my method of just kind of letting it dry out on its own, maybe shake it a little bit, um, is those heavy water deposits that stay in there well, the, the, the deposit gets left behind after the water evaporates. So if you wanted to mitigate that uh, using something like nitrogen to purge that heat exchanger out would be a very effective method of trying to extend your uh, heat exchanger's life. But I've used mine and we've got really hard water, even in the city of Austin and San Antonio. Like we've got some pretty freaking hard water here and... Lots of, I mean, heck, I've, I've had that seven, six, seven years, something like that. It's been perfectly fine. Uh, I've not had that issue. So now you may have different water. You probably do. I'm happy with the life I got out of mine. And if I had to replace it because it calcified up after so many years of usage, I think I, I, I'm okay with that as just a wear and tear myself. If you're not already in Chiller Academy, I'd really encourage you to go check it out. Just think about it, right? Uh, this is what I do full time. I, I've, I've committed, I've stepped out of the field, committed my career to this going forward. This is what I've always wanted to do and to be able to educate, help others and grow and help this industry take step, steps forward. Um, so chilleracademy.com, like I'd, I'd love to be able to work with you over there. We've got a community page, uh, every, all the lessons have a comment section. That's what I spend a lot of my day doing. If I'm not working on the lesson material itself, then I am in the comments and I'm trying to respond to those as fast as I can, uh, in addition to helping you through email and otherwise. So love to be able to work with you. For all of those that are in the academy, y'all are doing some great work out there. Keep it up. I really appreciate the support and the feedback that you've given. 